If there's one photography genre that has seen a recent surge in commercial appeal, it has to be 360 degree content. From estate agents seeking to give potential customers a full view of the house, to tourism boards offering a more immersive experience to potential visitors. Make no mistake, 360 imagery is big business. As with any professional photographer who makes a living with their imagery though, the need to polish and present the best possible product is an ever-present need. However, when it comes to specialised technology such as 360, not every image editing software is up to the job. One platform that can cut the mustard is Affinity Photo, which features a special mode to enable photographers to edit a 360 image as if it was a regular JPEG. Even if you are new to 360 image making, the steps and techniques needed to enhance a 360 image in Affinity Photo are no nonsense and straightforward. So let's get started. Once you've downloaded your image and opened it up in Affinity Photo, you'll get this view. The immersive 360 image has been rolled out flat like a map. But don't worry because Affinity Photo's live projection mode will bring the image to life. So first up, head up to layer Scroll down to Live Projection and select Equal Rectangle Projection. Do you see how the image has changed and you can now move around the image using the mouse? If you prefer not to use the mouse, you can always head to the top left of the interface and use the Heading, Pitch, Field of View and Straighten options to move around the image instead. Like regular images, there may be distractions in the 360 scene that you'd like to remove. And if this is the case, you need to head to the toolbar and select the in-painting brush. The keyboard shortcut for this is J. Once you've selected the brush, you can change the size of it using the square bracket keys. Then all you need to do is find a distraction, click over it, and it will be removed. There we go, I'll do it one more time, and you'll see the distraction has disappeared. Like a regular image, you may want to make certain adjustments, and Affinity Photo allows users to add adjustment layers over the top of a 360 image, affording photographers a great deal of tolerance to improve and polish their 360 imagery. For example, this image could do for brightness boost. So I'm going to head up to Layer, scroll down to New Adjustment Layer, and select the Brightness Contrast option. A dialog box will appear. And all you have to do is move the sliders until you're happy with the brightness and contrast. I think what this image needs now is a colour boost. So I'm going to head back up to layer, again down to the new adjustment layer, and this time select HSL. I'm going to drag the saturation slider to the right to boost the colours, and I think that's looking great now. So once you're happy with your adjustments, it's time to exit live projection mode. Head up to layer, Head down to Live Projection one more time, scroll across, but this time select Remove Projection. There we go, we're back to the flat map view of the image. You can now save the file by clicking File, Export, and save the file in your chosen format, whether it be a JPEG or TIFF or anything else. Thanks for watching this tutorial, have fun editing your 360 images and I'll see you next time.